Yo, what up everybody, it's your boy Alter Tech back again with a new video. And in today's video, we do have the White Storm Dome Glass for the Galaxy S10, and I do have it already installed on my brand new Galaxy S10. Now, I was going to do a tutorial video, but here's the thing. There's tons of videos with YouTubers actually doing tutorial videos, and I actually felt that, you know, it wasn't necessary, it wasn't needed. And on top of that, while I was trying to do the tutorial video, I found that it was extremely hard to actually do it in front of a camera because there's so many ways you can actually mess up. For example, I just found out yesterday that my desk is actually unleveled. So while I dropped the liquid on it, and well, the glue it started like slowly dripping down and then I had to you know, readjust it and then it kind of messed up. So then I had to try it over again. I just want to go ahead and, you know, just talk about how this screen protector, how it actually looks, how it feels, how it actually performs. Now, the main reason why I actually got this was because uh, this is the only screen protector that actually works with the built-in fingerprint reader on the Galaxy S10. So, as you can see, um, there, I guess there's like a slight uh, little uh, bubbles over here on the edges. But other than that, it's pretty much flawless. Uh, there is no bubbles. Um, I should probably wipe this down before I even started this video. So, and the fingerprint reader is right over here. Right over here. Here. Okay, so it's 50 bucks. That is kind of expensive. Well, they do say they give you a lifetime warranty, but you do have to pay for shipping and shipping. Uh, it is kind of like was like 15 bucks, 10 bucks for some people. So it is kind of pricey. And uh, number two, well, it is very premium. On out of all the tempered glass screen protectors I've actually bought in the past, this actually feels like real glass. It's very premium. Respect to Whitestone. And now for the performance, this is where I'm actually disappointed. The success rate of the fingerprint reader has gone from like 95, 90% to about 30%. So uh, this, it's very sensitive and I do find myself having to push press down a little bit. Now let's go ahead to Reddit and do some investigation real quick. Okay, actually let's, let's start with Amazon. So on Amazon.com, their reviews, let's see. So it's a three out of five stars. So for a screen protector that Samsung actually recommends or approves as being workable with the built-in fingerprint reader, three out of five stars is not too good. Now let's go ahead and check out the reviews. Look at, let's look at the one-star reviews real quick. Uh, this person says not worth it. Followed the instructions, waited 10 minutes, uh, the bubbles didn't go away. Yeah, so the first time I did have a, the second time I installed it, I had a big bubble in the middle and I just couldn't remove it. So uh, that was one box down. I had to open up a second box. So uh, that would have been 50 bucks out of my pocket had I, you know, actually used my own money to buy this. Um, two college educated people who have installed numerous tempered glass protectors could not get this to work. Okay, so did not work well with the S10. You have to press hard and it does not register the fingerprint rail. Yes, this is exactly what I'm going through right now. You really have to press hard. Even though I was pressing as hard as I could, uh, my fingerprints sometimes still wouldn't register. You had to actually play around with it for your phone to actually register your fingerprints with the screen protector. Uh, this person, Shelly, it would be great if it worked. Um, so she has issues as well with the fingerprint reader. It's not very optional. Installation instructions are not complete. They sent instructions via email one week later. Okay, this is where I didn't get that advice. So you're supposed to, for this, for after the first curing process, you're supposed to press on the fingerprint area for one minute and then proceed with the second curing process. So that's probably the step which I should have done on this. Well, to be honest, the instruction manual, it did not have that step. So uh, here we go. Now, uh, when I'm trying to use it, we keep getting these errors. Oh, okay, well this time it worked. Okay, that time it worked. Okay, so based on my experience, it depends on how much pressure you apply and the angle your thumb is in and actually the condition of your thumb. And uh, I believe, let's see, the guys on Reddit, let's go to Reddit right now. The guys on Reddit, they actually uh, recommended me actually uh, applying some kind of lotion on my fingertips while I'm re-registering my fingers on the phone. So I actually did that. It didn't really work too well, um, but some people have swore by it. They actually recommended using the UV light again. 
I actually tried, you know, using the UV light about three or five minutes on that fingerprint reader and still no avail. So uh, I believe the biggest, the most important step was to press on the fingerprint reader. But here's the thing, the instruction manual, it said do not touch the tempered glass while this process is, you know, happening. So I was kind of, you know, uneasy for even touching the screen. So, but, you know, I've watched a ton of other YouTubers who, you know, installed it and then they're like, okay, they installed it and then they'll put their thumb in and it works and then they're like, okay, it works. Yeah. But the success rate, it definitely went down. Um, it's a lot more sensitive to my fingerprint. I mean, the angle of my thumb. So now it's behaving right. Okay, let's try my left hand. Okay, so now it's behaving okay. No match, no match. Okay, okay, for some reason, now it's, uh, it's doing a lot better, but I'll tell you before, like when I first uh, installed this, the success rate was really low. So when I'm re-registering my fingertips, uh, I found out the best way to do is to just keep your, your thumb straight and keep applying like just uh, gentle pressure. Okay, this is now. Uh, it all depends on the angle. So I, right now, I, what I have to do is I have to memorize these angles and I memorize the pressure. And you know, it's not as easy as before when I had the uh, pre-installed screen protector. When I had the pre-installed screen protector, man, I could just you know take my thumb and just not even think about it. Just tap it anywhere over here and it would unlock. Now for this one, I gotta pay attention to the angle, and it can. Uh, it is kind of frustrating. Uh, for someone to just spend all this money on this device and to you know just you know have to settle for something that doesn't really work as advertised, it is frustrating. So hopefully in the Galaxy S11, honestly, if you're thinking about buying the Galaxy S10, I won't fault you for just skipping over the S10 and just wait till the 11 comes out so they can actually you know work out that fingerprint reader issue. It's really really uncalled for for a $900 device. It's really uncalled for. But um, to be honest, this is the best uh, screen protector, tempered glass screen protector on the market right now. So for 50 bucks, uh, it is kind of steep, but uh, they give you all the materials and it is pretty simple, but I just wish that they actually incorporated that last, that important step where you're supposed to press on the fingerprint reader area for about one minute and then do the final curing process. So uh, that's my review of the Whitestone Dome Glass. Um, the overall quality of the glass, it's a 10 out of 10. Uh, the fit, it's a 10 out of 10. Uh, the quality, 10 out of 10. But the functionality, uh, I'm sorry, man, I gotta give it like a 4 out of 10. It really inhibits the function of the ultrasonic fingerprint reader. All right, so this is Altertech with a follow-up review of the Whitestone Dome Glass Screen Protector for the Galaxy S10. Let me know down in the comments what you guys and girls think. Uh, do you think it's a good buy? Do you regret buying it? Or do you have any other recommendations? Uh, let me know down in the comment section below. This is Altertech signing out. Hope you guys have a great and wonderful day. Peace.